Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I done this natural, apart from a highlight, I went a wee bit ham on my highlight, um, natural drugstore makeup look for going back to school. So if you'd like to see it, then please just keep on watching. So I've already done my eyebrows, carved them out, put concealer on my eyelid and set it and everything. I used the Collection Eyebrow Kit in Blonde and to carve them out, I used the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I will leave the eyebrow powder kit linked down below in case you want to get it because it is really nice and cool toned because my hair is like more of like an ashy blonde so it works really well for my hair. So I'm going to start off with primer first and I've got the Obsession Bacon Primer. Oh, nearly dropped it. I used this in last week's video and I really do like it. I just don't like the smell of it but it is a really good oil primer so I just apply I don't apply a lot of it to my face because it is an oil so it does really spread so I'm going to move on to eyeshadow next just to let that oil primer really sink into my skin this is what I've been doing recently um, since I used that in Friday's video every time I'm like using it to do my makeup I will like, put it on and then do my eyebrows or if I've already done my eyebrows I'll put it on and then do my eyeshadow just to really let it sink into the skin before I put any foundation or anything over the top of it. For eyeshadow I'm going to use the Imagination eyeshadow palette from Revolution. I tested this out in last week's video as well and it's still really hard to open and if you guys haven't seen it this is what it looks like. Like I just love this as I said in my last week's video this is just an everyday eyeshadow palette for me so I'm going to go in with the shade OK again I used that in my last video as my transition and I'm just going to put this through the crease and bring it quite high up, high up because I do have a lot of like lid space to work with and because this is like a back to school, or like a school makeup look, I'm going to keep it like kind of more natural on the eyes. So I've just built that shade up a bit and it's just a really nice transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with pink, no I don't think I'll go in with pink I promise. I'm going to, I know I will, I'll go in with pink I promise. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner to start with and then blend it through the crease. So I didn't really wear a lot of makeup in school, like I was just far too lazy. Like I got up, got ready, went to school. Like I am not a morning person, I never have been. So I literally just got up and got ready and went to school I just I can't function in the morning I need coffee so I didn't really wear a lot of makeup in school then I'm going to go in with this warm orangey shade called get to know and I'm going to put this right through the crease just to warm it up a little bit so I started wearing makeup when I went to college, like I actually got up and done my makeup before I went to college because I did have like more time before I had to leave to go get the bus. Um, so I started doing makeup in college, but it was never like the way that I do it now. Like it was only quite recently that I've actually got into doing like full blown glam makeup. I'm going to go in with a mixture of uh, this shade that we just used and this shade. So the one that we just used is called Get To Know and then the other one is called Imagine. I'm just going to go in with a mixture of the two and just add them to the outer corner. I just want to deepen up slightly, like I don't want to go any more like intense on the eye. Like I don't want to make it any darker. But um, if I was to like go back to high school the now, I would definitely 
wear makeup like how I wear it now like honestly I just love makeup so much I'm just going to go back in with that get to know shade and I'm going to bring it along like more into the um eyelid oh my god I just don't know what I'm saying today like I feel like I'm honestly just rambling the biggest lorry rubbish ever so please excuse me this video might be all over the shop today then I'm going to go in with I think I might just leave it like that I don't think I'd go any like more intense than this if I was at school so I think I'm just going to go in with the shade Angel, this shimmery shade, and just put that over the eyelid. This is a really nice shade. I really do like this eyeshadow palette. For foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour and the Maybelline Superstay foundation. This one's slightly too light. This one is too dark, but I do have a bit of a tan left from the summer so i have this one in 015 porcelain and this one in 10 ivory this isn't the lightest shade i think the lightest shade is 303 something so i'm just going to mix these together i'm just going in with a brush to blend this out because i killed my sponge i was cleaning my brushes and everything the other day and on the makeup cleaning mat that I got for my birthday, I like I couldn't be bothered sitting like massaging the sp the sponge and all that. So I thought I'll just give it a wee rub on my makeup cleaning mat, and I ripped it like three or four times. I can still use it; like it's not really bad, but I've killed it. So. Luckily, I'm going shopping tomorrow, so I'm going to get um, another one. I'm going to go in with the Collection Lasting Perfection. Um, I was going to say concealer and define concealer. Concealer in the shade Extra Fair. And just putting this in all the normal places that I would put concealer. And I've got a couple of spots on my eyebrows. Well above my eyebrows that's like oh my god that is anything but straight just blending my chin cupid's bow and forehead out with my sponge my sponge my brush jesus just shows how much i'm used to using my sponge um but you obviously don't need to wear like this much coverage like you could use like a lighter coverage of foundation it's just when I was in school like my face used to go like bright red for like no reason at all like I was just one of the people that my face went bright red saying hi -ah to somebody like honestly it was so so bad and it still does happen like it happened in college as well like my face went bright red just for talking and it's mainly why I wore makeup in college to stop my face from going bright red and it does still does it i don't know why my face goes so red i think it's when i'm like nervous it sh it just happens like i'm not embarrassed like i can have a conversation with somebody like just up your natural conversation and then my face will just go beat red for absolutely no reason so i don't know why that happens but that's why i wear makeup most of the time when I'm going out is to stop my face from going bright red and it's why I wore it in college and it's why I wish I wore it in school. I'm just going in with my Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder and I'm going to use this to set my face. If you guys saw last week's video where with the Barium loose powder, I'd like shook it too much and it like exploded everywhere. And I, I managed to fix it. I just sat with a little brush and try and like push it, push it through the holes and like the wee container thing. So I have fixed it. Just quickly going 
back in with the eyeshadow palette i'm going to go in with that um get to no shade and i'm just going to run this lightly along the low lash line i don't want it to be really intense then for contour i'm going to use the revolution renaissance glow um highlight kit and i'm going to obviously use the contour shade to contour and this is just a really nice cool tone powder for if you are really pale and obviously you don't need to go like really intense with the contour or anything unless that's like how you do your makeup but this is definitely how I would do my makeup if I went back to school like oh that's that's a bit harsh, need to blend that out a little bit. For a bronzer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Bronze Bronzing Kit. And they are really warm toned, but if you just like tap into them like once, like I'll take like one dab of like each shade and then tap off your brush and just like really lightly blend along your cheek to bronze up. Like do, don't like stamp it on. I find like if I do that, then I can't really blend it out but if I just use like really light circular motions I can blend it out and get really nice and nice nice and bronzed without it looking too orange or anything on my skin. For highlight I'm going to use the iHeart Revolution Rose Gold little chocolate bar thing and this is just what it looks like. You've got a gold one and a pink one. The gold one is slightly too dark I can kind of get away with it now with my slight tan but I absolutely love the pink one it is just absolutely stunning like oh, it's just so so nice obviously you don't need to have like an intense highlight like this like I just love highlights like that I like this you could go in with a lighter hand with it so that you don't get a highlight too intense or, I don't know if you guys can hear that, my neighbours got their music on. Um, or you could use the, I've got the Elf Moonlight Pearls highlight, I think it's called. That's really subtle, like you really need to build that up if you want like an intense highlight. Um, I'm trying to think other ones, like see if you just go in with like a light hand, like just tap it like really lightly and then go in, then it is like kind of light it just depends on how you like doing your makeup really like you could just do your everyday makeup look i'm just going in with a smaller brush and highlighting my inner corner and brow bone so i just had to run up the stairs and get mascara and setting spray because i forgot to bring some down so for mascara i'm going to use the l'oreal paradise um, mascara. I don't know what's going on with my brain today. It just, it doesn't want to function today. So I'm just going to apply this to my top and bottom eyelashes. I'm going to go in with the Nip and Fab um, Illuminating Fixing Spray. It's like the iconic London ones and it's already shaken up for me running down the stairs. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit more. So for lips, I'm going to go in with, obviously, a nude. And I'm going to use the... I don't know whether to use my uh, Chauffeur lipstick from Revolution or use Soph's lipstick with Revolution in the shade Cake. I think I'll go in with Soph's one. So this is the finished makeup look and... It is basically just my everyday makeup look apart from a few products but basically all just the same and it, this might be a little bit too much for some people to wear to school but for me I would wear this to school maybe go a little bit less on the eyeshadow it's just that revolution the imagination palette is really pigmented as you guys seen I'd maybe go with like a lighter shade than that orange that I use but apart from that I really do like how this 
makeup look turns out. So that is it for this video and I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!